Welcome to part 2 of this series. In part 1, we modeled and textured this smart watch. In this video, we are going to do animation, lighting, and rendering out the animation as a PNG sequence. If you need this 3D model, together with other important files for the project, there is a link in the description. Let us begin. Let's switch the current workspace to animation. Create a new collection, that we will put the camera and lights in. Make sure that the collection is selected. Shift plus S, and set cursor to world origin. Add an empty, an empty cube for our case. Scale it down, and move it to the middle of the 3D objects, somewhere here. Make sure you are doing these adjustments from the right orthographic view. Duplicate this empty object, move it up and scale it down, so that it is smaller than the one below. Select both empty objects, Ctrl plus A, then apply scale. Let's add a camera, and scale it down. Scaling the camera does not affect anything, and you don't apply scale after scaling it. Press R for rotation, then Z, to lock rotation on the Z axis. Then press negative 90, to achieve this. Then bring your cursor to this panel, on the left, and press 0 on the number pad. So that we get into camera view. Let's scale down this camera once more and adjust it this way. On the output properties, let's change the resolution on the X, to be 1080. That has made the camera view to be squared. Let's adjust the camera's position once more. Now select the camera first, then hold down shift while you select this empty object last, Ctrl plus P, then set parent to object. Again, select this empty first, then hold down shift while you select this one on top last, Ctrl plus P, set parent to object. In case if you are wondering, let me clarify. What we have done here is that, this top empty controls both the empty below and the camera. And this bottom empty here, only controls the camera. Let's change the end of the timeline to 50 frames. Go to frame 40. Let's bring in the properties panel by pressing N, then go to item. If you have not selected this empty object, this is now the right time to select it. Set rotation on X to be 5 degrees. While the cursor is still here, press I, to record a keyframe. You can see the keyframe is created at frame 40. Select this empty at the top and set rotation on the Z axis to be 30 degrees, and while cursor is still here, press I, to record a keyframe. Let's jump to frame 1 by clicking here. Select this empty, and set rotation on the Z axis to be negative 180 degrees. Press I, to record a keyframe. While still on frame 1, select this empty, and set X rotation to be negative 30 degrees, then press I, to record a keyframe. Select this camera, and change from global to local, up here. Again while still on frame 1, adjust position on local Z axis of the camera to somewhere around here. Move your cursor here, on location, and press I, to record a key frame. Let's move to frame 40, on the timeline. Press 7 on the number pad for top orthographic view. Move this camera on its local Z axis towards the smart watch. Move cursor to location and record a key frame. This is how the animation looks like when you play. But I would like us to make it more interesting by making adjustments in the graph editor. Let's select the camera and the two null objects, hold down shift while selecting. Move your cursor to the timeline and press Ctrl plus tab, to switch between the timeline and graph editor, and vice versa. Click on normalize. Let's adjust the keyframes at the end, so that the animation comes to rest smoothly. Select these keyframes at the end. Click and drag to the left one of these handles, press X to lock the movement to only be horizontal. Adjust the handles to somewhere around here at frame 10. Now this is how the animation looks like. Let's switch to display render preview at the top right of this panel. We want to add lights, in the camera and lights collection. Front orthographic view, and add an area light. 
bring it up here and scale it while in top orthographic view. Switch to right orthographic view. Shift plus D to duplicate this light. R for rotation, then 90. G for grab and move it here, scale it up and adjust position. Select this light at the top, front orthographic view, shift plus D, to duplicate. R, for rotation, then negative 90 degrees. G, for grab and move it here, scale it down, move it here this way. Top orthographic view and move it this way. Duplicate this light and move it here, and rotate it by negative 180 degrees, and adjust its location this way. Duplicate the light once more and bring it here. Go to its object data properties and reduce the strength to 50. As you can see, we are not getting good shadows here. And that is a problem you encounter when using Eevee. Let's fix it by enabling contact shadows on these lights. On this light, reduce the thickness on the contact shadows to around 2 mm. If we had many objects in the scene, that sit on top of each other, it would have taken long to create good lighting in Eevee due to shadow problems. But this is just a simple scene with no background and a floor object. Let's adjust render properties. Turn on screen space reflections. On shadows, turn on high bit depth. On film, turn on transparent. We will be using EV render. Turn on motion blur. Go to output properties, on the output make sure output format is PNG and RGB alpha is selected. That is because we don't need the PNG sequence to have a background. Click on this icon here to open file browser. Navigate to where you want to save your sequence. Create a new directory by clicking on this icon, give it a name. I will name it, Smartwatch. Open the folder, and down here give a name that will be assigned to the images in the PNG sequence. Let's now render out the animation. We have completed part 2. I hope you enjoyed. Let's meet in part 3, which will be the last one. We will import the PNG sequence into After Effects, for compositing. That will entail color grading, adding a background, texts and shapes. We will also complete this project by exporting final video as an MP4 file. Have a nice day.